Good morning to one and all. This is Nassim Khayyum, Assistant Professor, Department of Engineering Sciences at AISSMS Institute of Information Technology. So today we are going to discuss about the engines. So engines, basically what is an engine? Engine is a device which converts heat energy into mechanical energy. Engines are basically classified into broadly only two types, which is external combustion engines and internal combustion engines. So these are classified based on the combustion. If the combustion is occurring outside of the cylinder chamber, then we can term it as external combustion engines. If the combustion is occurring within the cylinder, then it can be termed as an internal combustion engines. So example of external combustion engines is nothing but this one, right? This is a steam power plant. So combustion of fuel takes place outside of the engine cylinder. Here we can see we have boiler and a turbine, condenser and pump. When pump pumps the water into the boiler, and if we supply a sufficient amount of heat to it, then the water is converted into high pressure steam, which in turn, that steam, which in turn enters into a turbine where it expands isothermally, then we can expect a power output. And uh, the remaining steam is sent back to the condenser, sent back to the condenser and uh, where it changes its phase and again this process is follows as, as it is. When coming to internal combustion engines, so combustion, as I told you earlier, combustion of fuel takes place inside the engine cylinder. Such uh, uh, combustion is nothing but internal combustion engines. So examples, petrol engine, diesel engine, gas engine, etc. So, now we will go into deep of the IC engines. So classification of the IC engines. So generally IC engines are broadly classified as one of the different types. So one among that is number of strokes per cycle. If we have four stroke, we have four stroke and two stroke. And based on thermodynamic cycles, we have auto cycle, diesel cycle or dual fuel cycle. Auto cycle can be termed as constant volume cycle and diesel cycle can be termed as a constant pressure cycle. And based on number of cylinders, we have single cylinder engine and the multi cylinder engine. And based on ignition system, we have SI engine and CI engine. SI means spark ignition engine, CI means compression ignition engine. So based on cooling system, we have air cooled and liquid cooled engine. So when coming to the process of the post stroke engine, we have generally uh, we will be having a I'm talking about here a uh, spark ignition engine. We will be having one spark plug. So this is the spark plug, and these is these are the two walls in uh, inlet wall and outlet wall, and this is the inlet wall, and this is the exhaust wall, and this is maybe the engine cylinder or cylinder block. This is the piston cylinder arrangement. So when coming to its operation, we see here inlet wall is opening when it will open in the induction stroke or it can be termed as a suction stroke. In suction stroke, inlet wall is open where piston is coming from top to bottom, which can be termed as TD. Piston is coming from top dead center to bottom dead center. What happens here? fuel and air mixture will come from the inlet manifold and it enters into the cylinder chamber as we can uh, mark it here. As I told you, fuel and air mixture will enter from the inlet wall. And again, what happens uh, after the, at the end of the suction stroke or induction stroke, the uh, inlet wall will close. Now, what happens? The next step is compression stroke. During compression stroke, what will happen? 
piston will moves from bottom to top so during this process what will happen we see inlet valve closes and piston is moving from uh, bottom to top uh, what happening uh, it, it, uh, while during movement it is compressing to a very high temperature and pressure and after that we will be having power stroke so in power stroke what is happening it will give a at the end of the power uh, at the end of the compression stroke we will be having a power stroke where we will be having ignition of the spark which is a, called as a bang what happens during this uh, ignition piston will suddenly throws down it will be forces down powerfully where the piston is moving like this and after that during the last stroke nothing but exhaust stroke what happens here exhaust valve opens and the exhaustible mixture or combustible mixture in the earlier stroke in the power stroke which exhausts out through the exhaust valve during the exhaust stroke during this stroke what happens piston will moves from bottom to top exhaust gas will slowly goes out and then exhaust gas will and exhaust valve will open and simultaneously uh, inlet valve will open and this cycle will continues and this work cycle so continues so this is the one example uh, one animation i am showing here the working principle of ic engine you see here inlet mixture is coming yes and then you see here it uh, this process is a very occurring at a very you know within seconds it will occur here generally in, in uh, practical also you see here mixture is coming combusted and going this is the crankcase so this power is transmitted to transmission system and this is one more animation we can see here which is a spark plug you see here this is ignition yes then this is exhaust and this is the best example for two stroke this is an example inlet mixture is coming here from here and this is sending uh, this is going through this crankcase and then combusted just thrown and exhaust yes so while coming to diesel engine working of the four stroke diesel engine you see here this is also similar one <coughs> inlet stroke or inlet valve exhaust valve spark plug or injector here this is a in case of diesel engine this is a injector you see fuel is injecting into fine or droplets you see here these are the flame fronts yes this one so this is the working of post of diesel engine thank you